What's up guys, it's Andy from Wild Game Innovations. Today we're gonna to take you through a little bit of the setup for your new Insight cell or Insight Air Trail camera. We're gonna go through things like connecting to the Hunt Smart app, choosing a cellular plan, choosing your app subscription plan, what works best for you, uh, and a few other things. Let's get started. So by this point, you should already have gone through your quick setup guide. Your hardware should be all installed correctly, antennas on, SD card installed properly, uh, and batteries in the camera battery well, ready to go. So now you're ready to connect to the Hunt Smart app. So download the app from the App Store, either iOS or Google Play, and you're ready to add your device. From the cameras page under My Devices, you'll see the plus sign in the upper right hand corner, which will bring up the list of devices. Uh, if you're in your home or someplace that has a bunch of stuff going on, um, you may see more. You'll want to look for the serial number that your camera is. And that serial number can either be found in your quick setup guide or on the back of your trail camera. Make sure you note the, the serial number there. You'll click on that camera to interact with it, and the next thing you'll see is the device information screen. So all you'll do is enter the device name. I'm gonna call this one Wild Game 1, and you're ready to enter your Wi-Fi password. Now this is very important. Your Wi-Fi password is located in two places conveniently, in your quick setup guide at the very last page, but if you happen to lose this, you toss the box out or you don't have it, didn't write it down, you can also always find it in the battery well underneath where the SD card is. That's right there. So that's your Wi-Fi password to connect to the camera for the very first time. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter my device password and select add to HotSmart. Depending on when your specific camera was produced, you may need to update its Bluetooth module or its internal firmware components. You'll be prompted on screen in the app if this is something your camera requires. And make sure you follow through with those steps before moving on. All right, so now that you're connected to your camera, which was fairly easy, now you wanna select your HuntSmart app subscription plan. In order to do that, you'll be able to select Pro Hunter or Weekend Warrior. You get free 30 days with our Scout plan, which has the minimal features. Um, the Weekend Warrior is $2 a month, Pro Hunter is only four, and you pay on an annual basis. You'll wanna take advantage of these plans with the upcoming features that are coming later. Buck scoring, hunt predictor, hit list tracker, all awesome stuff. Now that data is gonna to have to go through the cloud, which basically that's what you're doing when you purchase this. To go through the cloud and for the machine learning to analyze the photos that are going through it, that's what this does. So this is basically storage to take trail camera images from any trail camera SD card that you've got and upload them to be analyzed later. Once you've selected Weekend Warrior Pro Hunter or Scout, I've already got Pro Hunter, so I'm gonna continue on with that. So I'm gonna keep current. Now, this is the next step. If you're, if you're selecting a cell camera, you'll be asked to choose your cellular data transmission plan. The important thing to note is the cellular data transmission plan is specific to the camera. It's basically you paying for that camera to send the contents from it to the tower to your phone. You can select any of the plans. You can see them listed on our website, bronze, silver, gold, or our copper plan. I'm gonna go ahead and select silver. All right, so now that you've chosen a cellular transmission plan for your cell camera uh, and an app subscription plan for the extra features, you'll be asked to place your device on a map. Later, you'll be able to see all your cameras if you have multiple and interactive GPS map. So I'm gonna go ahead and place it on the map. Click next. All right, so now that you've placed the device on your map, you're connected, you're good to go. Now we're ready to jump into settings for your camera. You'll immediately see live view uh, for your setup. So you'll see what the camera's seeing. Now that can only be accessed within 150 yards within the Bluetooth Wi-Fi range of your camera, even regardless if it's a cell or an air. You can only do it within that range, just an FYI. You wanna show optional settings if not already shown, and you wanna make sure you go through the settings. Um, for a cell camera specifically, you can set your uh, image transmission frequency to two options. It can either be scheduled time slots, so you can set up to five times per day at any given time that you want, or you can set it to each detection. Now we don't recommend setting it to each detection unless you have an external battery source, like a six volt. Um, it'll eat your batteries every time that you have to upload or every time that camera uploads to the network, it's got a power up, which is a battery drain. So we recommend limited syncs per day based on your preferences. Capture delay, set it to 30 seconds or a minute, it's about the common ones. Uh, medium exposure, 24 seven. Each, each of these settings has a tooltip too. So if you wanna know more about it, just click that I with the circle around it in the upper right and it'll tell you about more what that does. Now we're ready to save it. So you should see your camera set up right there on your device's screen or your camera screen, and you're good to go. 
Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. That concludes setup of your new Insight cell or Insight Air trail camera. Um, thanks for watching. Let us know what you'd like to see. More of these tutorial and tips videos are going to be coming. Keep an eye out for app updates and email notifications on when things will be published. We're excited about bringing new software updates all the time. So be on the lookout for that. We're here to help and we're excited about the product. So let us know. Thanks for watching. See you next time.